Papers, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is Laura Buechler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today, I'm going to show you a fun fold card that I'm calling the Half Front Panel. And it's also got this fun little cutout window here. Um, I'm using the Charming Playful Pets Designer Series paper. And this paper is part of the super adorable Playful Pets Suite, which includes a stamp set and coordinating dies, as well as this beautiful paper and some embellishments and trinkets. Um, and actually some of the dies, as well as coordinating with the stamp set, will also cut out images from the DSP as well, which is so cool. Um, today I'm just going to be using the paper and I'm going to be fussy cutting some of the images just like I did here. Now this paper is really cute and creative in the way it's designed. Some of the papers have adorable dogs and dog related images. And some of the papers have cats and cute little cat related images and words. Now I've already made the cat version of the card and so today we're going to be making the dog version. So to create this card, you'll need two pieces of cardstock the same color, and I'm using cinnamon cider cardstock. The first piece measures five and a half by four and a quarter inches, and the other piece measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter inches. You'll also need the following cuts of designer series paper. Three by three and a half inches, four by two inches, and three inches by three eighths of an inch. And finally, you'll need a white insert of three by three and a half inches. And for the cutout window, you'll need some scrap cardstock. So the first step is I'm gonna get out my trimmer and I'm going to score my smaller piece of cardstock along the short side at half an inch. I've got my dog paper right here that I'm going to fussy cut my dog out of and I'm going to use that one right there. I'll show you how to make this cool cutout window. The first step is that we need to stick the DSP onto the smaller piece of cardstock. Now, to make this window, I've got two circle punches. When I made this cat card, I used my two inch circle punch and my two and a quarter inch circle punch to make this cutout window. And on this card, I'm going to use my one and three quarter inch circle punch and my starburst punch. Even though these punches are both retired, I still really love them and I use them often. Now, if you don't have these circle punches, you could use any layering dies, such as layering squares, layering circle dies, even the stitched shapes. So I'm going to use my one and three quarter inch circle punch to punch a cutout window through here. And then I'm going to use the same punch on this real red cardstock. Now I could punch it right here. That would give me a, a red circle, but that's not actually what I want. I want to punch over here where there's lots of room and you'll see why in a minute. 
So I'm going to punch my red circle with the one and three quarter inch circle punch. Set that aside. And now I'm going to come in here with my starburst punch and punch around that. And now I've made this really cool frame to go around my window. So I'm going to get my multi-purpose glue and stick that in. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach these other pieces to my card, as well as this piece here. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going, the reason I want to assemble this first is because I'm going to stamp the sentiment right through that window. need a sentiment that's going to fit in that little window. I'm going to use this happy birthday from the Peaceful Moments stamp set and I'm going to stamp that in cinnamon cider ink. And now I'm going to attach the two shapes that I cut out earlier. And there's my finished card. Remember that you'll get a chance to win this card when you share the video. Leave a comment below to let me know that you've shared, and maybe I'll be sending you this card in the mail. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think, and if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. I'm not currently offering in-person classes, but you can visit my website to sign up for Creativity To Go. Once a month, you'll get prepared supplies and tutorials delivered right to your door for you to complete on your own schedule. I'm also hosting casual Zoom crafting sessions where you can bring any project you happen to be working on and enjoy a fun social crafting time with others. Find all these details and so much more on my website. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to let you know that I have a Facebook page called Inky Fingers Paper Crafting where you can join a weekly creative challenge and win a prize from me. And if you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. And if you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we'll start planning your own online party. Drop me a line for more details. Have a great day, everyone, and happy staying.